Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will continue talking about text mining, and we're gonna uh, do the sentiment analysis for documents. So I'm gonna move directly to the uh, application, and I'm gonna uh, uh, give you an example uh, on the text mining. Uh, as we discussed before, the text mining uh, panel has most of the items that we use in text mining. So you install this by going to Add On, and you install text. The text uh, is representing the text mining. This is the first thing. So today we will talk about how we're gonna do text mining on documents, so, yani, uh, a set of documents or a collection of documents. What I gonna use? I gonna use the same uh, the same data set we used in document in dealing with document, which is a mini data the text document classification. Uh, it has business, entertainment, food, medical, sport, subfolders. And in each subfolder, you have certain number of documents. So uh, business has business documents, entertainment has uh, entertainment document, and so on and so forth. I will keep this in the uh, GitHub for you to download and you can use, or you can use your own documents. If you have uh, some categories like this, uh, you can also use them. So I'm gonna use import, import documents. Okay, and from import documents, I'm gonna use uh, this data set, which is mini set, uh, which is which is exist in the uh, Kaggle, uh, my my current folder directory. But you can when once you download it from GitHub, you can extract it and you can select this folder. We click select, and it will pick up all the documents inside the five folders. So we have. Uh, 249 documents uh, distributed in five categories which is the five folders i just showed you which are business entertainment food medical and sport so the question can we do sentiment analysis for these documents to see uh, if there are documents uh, from sentiment perspective positive negative the answer is yes first let, let's just use first the corpus viewer to view these uh, documents so when you double click, you will see all these documents. For, for example, business one, it's under business category. And this is the path. This is the uh, title and content for this uh, document and so on and so forth. And you can browse the food documents, for example, etc., etc., etc. Okay. And uh, from here, I'm going to connect to sentiment, sentiment analysis. And uh, as you can see, it is now process the document. I, I'm going to use uh, now multiple the uh, sentiment uh, option method and I'm gonna choose English okay so from here you we can see the sentiment so we can see it by viewing it for example in data table this is the data table these are the documents okay and this is the sentiment for this document so this is negative for example if you click in sentiment you will uh, uh, sort the documents from positive to negative uh, so for example sport this document has 2.7 which is high so those is, this is a, a, a positive document you can view this by also connect data table to core bus viewer okay so we selected the first one which is a positive document so you can open it and read this document you will definitely see that it has many positive impressions or uh, statements etc so this is the first one uh, of course, you can save the output. This this output you can save it if you want uh, into uh, an Excel file by going to Save Data, okay. And from Save Data, you can double click and you can save as a document as, for example, Excel sheet or whatever formats you want. This is the first thing. Now, uh, now note that we got the sentiment. Uh, overall uh, value from these documents however if you choose for example uh, Vader if you click in Vader you will see here the positive negative neural uh, neutral and the compound weights instead of sentiment as one statement so you can click on the positive uh, this is for example a positive document uh, this is entertainment uh, for nine let's view it see why it's positive if you click on this document, uh, you will see the prizes, you will see some, you know, uh, positive words. Because of this, you know, uh, it, it has been classified as a positive document. Okay. Of course, you might have some other documents that has just only um, impressions, statements, tweets, 
whatever you want you can uh, apply it on the import documents okay uh, the way that we've done it and you can get the uh, the uh, the impressions or the weights from sentiment based on the method that you use uh, this is the first thing second thing i would like to show you the heat map heat map for these documents so this is the heat map from negative to positive you can see that we have here some uh, maybe negative statements so here we have positive statements we can click also on the uh, 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 sub uh, hierarchical class if you want or the main one here uh, or small area and you can view it directly through corpus viewer so what i've selected is these documents okay uh, they are interrelated in, in, in a specific way they are interrelate uh, because they are entertainment uh, most maybe of these documents have the same uh, same uh, verbs and nouns and same almost statements okay uh, this is the heat map also uh, what what else we can use we can also if you want actually from sentiment analysis you can do extract extract uh, keywords when you click on the extract keywords it will bring all the uh, the uh, extracted words from here as you can see and the tf idf weights for the words okay of course you can do pre-processing -pre and eliminate some words uh, stop words etc you can use the pre-processing before uh, extracting the words uh, this is up to you but as you can see it's uh, very easy straightforward to use sentiment analysis in uh, orange data mining we just uh, done the import uh, documents and we done the sentiment based on the imported documents also as we explained in the last lesson uh, in the last lesson week you can use corpus directly on a document uh, that has sub uh, you know titles inside the document and or texts if you want and you can do the sentiment in the text itself or an excel sheet or whatever you want you can do all these sent sent sentiment analysis on all these documents so this is the lesson for today i hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you in our uh, next lesson uh, next lesson also will continue talking about text mining uh, we will continue actually talking about text mining for the coming uh, maybe uh, nine ten lessons uh, because still we we have so many things to talk about in text mining so till then enjoy orange data mining and we'll see you there